say hello. All right, everybody, you guys ready to slay it in? We're marking it? Mark, mark it. Give the judges a chance to get together and cook, and it's guaranteed to be a good time after hours. You know, I like this group for this basket. I mean, I like this group generally, but I mean particularly for this basket. Alex, Mark, Amanda, you three are the designated bar flies to take on ingredients from our gastro pub competition. We hang out in the pubs all the time, is that what it is? Yeah, you said it, not me. This is an appetizer basket, and the ingredients are great. We have house-cured bacon, deviled eggs, fish cheeks, and house-made pickles. How do you like that? You know, I think maybe Scott or Jeffrey might struggle a little bit more with this basket. We would need the caviar, we would need the sea urchins and the abalone, but you know, we're kind of the down-home types. And, and uh, the cheeks, yeah. I mean, that's the cheeks are something that I don't think, sometimes Aww. they didn't used to use them before, but now they're so good, those cheeks are so good! <laughs> I look at the whole thing and I think, thank you. You have acid, you have fat, you have bacon, you have eggs. And then you have fish cheeks. How are the, how I love are, a deviled egg. Don't eat your mise en place. Oh. I do think that maybe some people at home might have trouble imagining how to repurpose, reimagine a deviled egg. I feel like this could be mayonnaise, it could be a grabiche. Grabiche, it sounds like a Sesame Street character. Oh, look, there's grabiche. Yeah. <laughs> Listen that's to garbage French, can. That's right, the French bistro um, character Barry. on Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> so the bad news is you only get 20 minutes. <laughs> Can you do this? We're yes. in. I want to hear you say yes. that you can do this. Yes. Take a net. Time for us now. Ah! I like to make some noise. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You just threw the fish cheeks. I'm going to poach them. I'm going to make like a uh, sort of a rendition of a crab cake. We're looking for an appetizer here. I want something small, dainty, a little pub-like, maybe. So just like with a crab cake, you want the, the protein to be cooked before you form the cake? Well, yes. OK. You know what I'm going to need is some celery. If you're over there some chatting with the ladies. Come to okay. the pantry where we are. <laughs> OK. Whoa, you got quite an armload there, Alex. Hey, Murphy, you want anything besides this? A red onion, too, would hey, be great. Hey, no, no. Who's collecting my ingredients? Uh, I would help you, too, Amanda. I just realized I have a lot to do. Oh, really? <laughs> that just occurred to you? I'm busy. So, what you making? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, you want me to come back later? OK, no, I have this really awesome idea. I make this poached fish cheek and bacon jalapeno vinaigrettes. Then I have to pickle my jalapenos in this pickle juice. This, oh, whoops, this brings up a great point. Most people at home, when they finish a jar of pickles, I bet you probably throw the brine away. Oh my god, no, you, you should save that. You can reuse that brine at least twice. Save, save the, the brine. brine! That's a new charity. Save the brine. Amanda and I are starting a new, a new organization called Pickles Without Borders. <laughs> So, uh, Alice, what you making? So, I have a little uh, beer and vodka batter, Ted, that I'm making to fry my pickles. I'm making a pickle juice vinaigrette for my Frito Misto. Can you explain to people what a Frito Misto is? So, just like a mixed platter of fried food, I'm going to do fried, fried pickles and fried fish with okay. some herbs and other stuff. So, I'm going to bread the fish, but tempura the pickles. Guys, you got 12 minutes on the clock. What? Oh, Lord. 12 what? luxurious, voluptuous OK, minutes. I don't think I can do this in 12 minutes. Amanda's in trouble. I'm almost done. No, I'm not really. So wh how are you? What's going on? I'm OK. I'm just a little worried about uh, this vinaigrette that I'm making, because I need the bacon fat, right? I okay. need the pickled jalapenos. And I cannot believe how fast this time has gone, actually. Plus, you're so picky when other people cook for you that everyone's looking very carefully at every move you make. No pressure. I will say this, Amanda. It smells really good in here. You know what it is? But that's because of Mark's station. I'll give you, oh! <laughs> You ready, Ted? You're making me nervous. You should be. I definitely see already that I am uh, totally lying to myself about 20 minutes, which is what we chefs do. But the difference is, I know you're going to pull it off. OK, I mean, I appreciate the vote of confidence, my friend, but you know, we're only human, Ted. Well, sometimes I wonder if we're even that. <laughs> I'm chopping up my cheeks that I poached. 
So I gotta fold it in, make the crab cakes, cook them off, and I think I'm done with this mess. Flip that over. Alex is over there choosing plates, and she reminded me that I have to. Maybe you want to choose a plate for me, Ted. I'd love something rectangular, yet not too large. Rectangular, not too large. So maybe this. So Ooh, I this like one, that one. You like that one? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Is that a new one? I don't know. I love that plate. Thank you. I made it in my own kill. Ooh, that's good. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Pull up a chair. So listen, this is what so I'm what's doing. going on? So right now, I'm what's making that? a little bit of a crab cake. I, okay. I got a little too much liquid. There oh, we are. Uh, you. so. oh. You're welcome. Well, what's that about? Ted, I think that you two deserve a break. You really do. So I'm going to make some crab cakes here. Actually, this works out nicely. Mark, do you have that pan hot enough? Remember, everything in here I've already cooked, so I'm really just trying to get a little crust on the outside. I got the pickle juice and the jalapenos over there, and I'm going to make a little tartar sauce. Oh, Ted, the, you know, really, I sauce. do have to get back to work. Could you oh, please okay. get out of here now? Oh, OK. Behind you, Amanda. What's going on, Alex? Well, I've got my fried food platter, Ted. So two completely different kinds of deep fried goodness. Yeah, hell yeah, Ted. It's, it's fried all day long up in here. Little shallot vinaigrette with the egg yolk and club soda. I can feel my waistline expanding just looking at it. That's what I'm here for, isn't it? And chefs, you've got one minute left on the clock. I'm just dicing up my pickles. I've taken my egg white and I've pushed it through a sieve to make, give a little texture to my sauce. I was going to do that. Well, I did it because I had enough time. Hey, yeah. Plate it up. Plate it up. I'm good. 30 seconds, chefs. What? Mark doesn't look especially alarmed. Amanda, this smells great. It's pretty damn good. I could eat that. And you shall. And I will, yes. All right, chefs, this is it. Get it done, get it done. Plate it up. 10, Four. 9, Four. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Please step back. You crazy maniacs. OK, let's eat. What do we have? I'm super excited. To another round. Well done. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, uh, everybody, for coming and playing today. OK, we have house-cured bacon, deviled eggs, fish cheeks, and house-made pickles. So Alice Gornishelli, what have you made from this gastropup basket? I made a fried food plate with batter-dipped pickles, fried cheeks, lemon, parsley, and a deviled egg dipping sauce. That's perfect. There's chopped dill on the pickles. So bright. And I love the panko on the fish cheek. Oh, thanks. And the bacon really makes it, too. There's bacon and shallots in the dipping sauce and on oh, the plate. Okay. I taste the smokiness for sure. This is like Alice Grinichelli goes to the state fair. <laughs> well, I just love stuff like this. I really do. I love fried food, Ted. There's something that happens when you deep fry that you really can't achieve any other way. Nicely done. Chef Mark. Why, thank you very much. I made a little uh, a rendition of a crab cake, and I made uh, a rendition of a tartar sauce. This go great with a beer. And what did you season it with, Mark? Uh, mostly with authority. Ah. Nicely seasoned with salt and pepper, but I said, you know what, let's keep it clean. I went herbs. Oh, oh nice texture already. Right. This looks beautiful. Mm. The pickle is amazing. I love the pickles. It definitely needs a sauce. This is great. It's, I want to say, it's delicate. It's a little bit feminine. I like it. It's your feminine side here. It's my feminine side. I love the bacon and the celery. It's very chowder-esque. I agree with that. It would be perfect in a gastropub. Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> Amanda Freitag, what do we have? OK, so what I made you was a poached fish cheek. It's dressed with a jalapeno bacon vinaigrette. So there's some spice in there. Oh, that's delicious. I love the, there's onion or shallot in here? Shallot. I like the heat. I love that. There's nice heat. And the, the heat. heat, right? I like that a, a lot. A little kick. The choice of using bacon fat, I needed to have spice. We don't often enough get a little kick. Just a little kick to open the palate, to start your meal, you know, to get that bite that makes you want to keep on eating. So agree, and this so does that. I love it. Thank you. I would definitely love to eat at an Alex Mark Amanda Gastro Pub. Great job with those apps, guys. So good. Thank you. What a Cheers. Don't forget, your rabbit hole to the chopped kitchen is foodnetwork.com slash chopped. Keep coming back for more After Hours Judges Rounds.